Hey, Venus here, chat and sip with Venus. Today we are going to work with the cauliflower crust that I was talking to you about. And today I'm sipping on some Chardonnay left from the weekend. Not a real good one, but it'll do. Remember, Jesus did turn water into wine. So, I want you to understand the purpose of a healthy life made simple is to get you to know and to show you how easy it is to make food and make healthy food. I have talked about these crusts before. I mean, you can make your own cauliflower crust, but let me tell you what, it's a pain in the butt. So I found this company that I actually like them because they have plant-based, they're very inexpensive, they always have great sales, and they taste good, and they cook in 15 minutes. I like their little pizza pan because it's airy and it makes it a little crisper, but you can also just do it on a baking sheet with um, parchment paper. So on my website, venusdemarca.org, there are two other recipes that I've put up using these. So please look at those. So today, what, what I did is I made nachos. Who doesn't love nachos? I just, there's a new uh, flavor they have called the, it's a jalapeno plant-based crust. And what I did is I made it very, very crispy. So I cooked it a little longer, cut it up, put a vegan cheese on it, Excuse me, I got a little choked up looking at these. I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> so, and then I melted the cheese. I put black beans. I put ha pickled jalapenos. There is salsa, guacamole, cashew sour cream. I mean, come on, girls and boys. Doesn't that look great? And also, we're talking no GMO corn chips, no gluten here. Perfect. Did you know a lot of your corn chips in these stores have wheat on them? That's how they get them so crispy. So they're not all gluten free because they're corn chips. So what we're going to do with this crust here, I've cooked it up. We're just going to take a little bit of marinara sauce. You can either make one. There is one in my book called Mama Mia, Mama Venus's wonderful marinara sauce. We're just gonna put this as a store-bought one. Again, sometimes you just have to buy things already made. So this is a sugar-free one, non-GMO organic tomato sauce. And we're just gonna put that there on my website. I have a pizza sauce that you can make homemade. It's very, very easy also. Now, we can do all kinds of things. I've shown you how to use Miyoko's uh, vegan mozzarella that melts so quickly. You can use your favorite shredded mozzarella. Of course, I'm asking that you do a dairy-free option. But today, I'm gonna use what I had in my kitchen. So I had a can of white beans. I am going to add some lemon juice because we're gonna make a cheese out of white beans. Because we want, and we want to add lemon juice, we need it tangy. In here is a little Celtic sea salt and some onion powder. We're gonna put a little black pepper in here. And I didn't have any nutritional yeast. I'm just gonna add a little chickpea miso just to give it a nuttier, cheesier flavor. But I need another sip of wine. So, I'm waiting for the proof of my cookbook to get here so I can get this thing out to the public. It still hasn't come. I have to proof it to make sure I want anybody to have it. I don't know what it looks like in paperback yet. But I hope you guys buy it because those recipes, there's over 80 recipes in there that I developed myself except for fish. So we're just putting it in this little food processor. Hey, we got a nice, sort of like a ricotta cheese. See how easy? So see, this cooking thing does not have to be complicated, everybody. Use what you have. Get creative. 